The end time visions, my younger sister Dace Peterson had a spiritual vision when praying at dawn, Jesus appeared to her and said, tell my church that this turbulent night will be the last for my people, it's the longest night and it will be more terrible than every night, my church will cry, but a new day will come, that day will be eternal, there will never be an end, a new dawn will dawn on them, it will be a different day, the night will never come more upon my people, they will be with me in eternity, Psalm 30, 5 For his anger endureth but a moment, in his favor is life, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning, Malachi 4, 2 But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth, and grow up as calves of the stall, my sister was amazed at this sight and fell on her face in the dust. Jesus showed me a group of people in white robes and their faces shone, I did not see Lord Jesus in the vision, but I heard his voice, he was just showing the visions to me, I asked Jesus, Lord, who are these people in white? The Lord said, these are the prophets who have not bent their knees to Baal, these are people who have heard the testimonies of rapture and have changed their lives, many of these did not know the people who were snatched away to be witnesses of hell and heaven but when their testimonies reached their ears, their lives were transformed, these are the fruits that I will raise with great spiritual authority on earth, look at the number of brave men and women who are preparing for spiritual battle, Jesus showed me in the vision, many torches fading, I saw many dim lamps covered by darkness because of sin, and where there is no light on, the darkness prevails, the Lord will not take the ones who are blotted out by darkness, many are called and few are chosen the separation will leave the tares and carry the wheat, only the lighted lamps that will be taken from the earth, for their brightness will attract the master to his meeting, these are the stars that shine in the darkness of the night and embellish the dark sky, on July 7, 2001, at 2, 00 in the morning, I heard Jesus say, I am coming soon and will fetch my bride, all those who are prepared for my coming and who have oil in their lamps, after that God, the Father will pour out his anger and wrath over the earth, come now to Jesus, today is the day of salvation. It is a lie to believe that a man only has to say yes to Jesus without accepting him as Lord to go to heaven, Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, John 8, 31 his word says in 1 John 2, verse 3 9 now by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfect in him, he who says he abides in him ought to walk just as he walked, brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning, the old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning, again a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you because the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining, in the beginning of August 2005, Jesus gave me a vision, I could not only see what God was showing me, but I could also feel it as well, I saw a lot of people raptured into heaven and felt someone grabbing me at my waist and immediately, with high speed I was going through the ceiling of my house and into heaven, at this point of the rapture, I thought, this is unbelievable. I did not touch the ceiling. In heaven, in the vision, Jesus spoke to me that I would stay for three days on earth to warn all the Christians, who were left behind after the rapture. Let me tell you what I experienced soon after I was on earth again, it was possible for me to hear the trumpet, proclaiming the coming of the Lord, wanting to take his bride to himself, I was shocked to see how many Christians failed the rapture, even those pastors that are well known through TV programs. However, I did not recognize anybody there, which is so much better for me, because no one can ask me, did you see me? It was dark outside, although it was daytime, just imagine walking through a park at sunset alone and hearing strange voices from all corners, it's a strange situation, I realized that the Holy Spirit was absent and this darkness at daytime was the result of it, every person could see demons and the people were screaming for fear. After this experience, I felt a deep sadness because so many had stayed behind, the thought that a lot of people won't make it, believe me, made me cry, 
due to lack of wisdom, because of lewdness, uncleanness, sorcery, jealousy, outburst of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, adultery, fortification, idolatry, hatred, contentions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, rivalries, rejecting of fellow believers and the lack of love they will miss the goal, according to Galatians 5 colon 16 21, and Paul was speaking to the Christians, after these revelations, I prayed to Jesus to see if there would be a secret rapture, Jesus showed me a vision of a green fig tree, he said, the fruits are not ripe, if I came to get the church ahead of time, I will have no harvest, many will be unaware and will not be saved, I have to prepare the people through the signs and prophecies of the end times, tribulation, on hearing these words, I heard the sound of trotting horses, the voice said, it is the cavalry of hell invading the earth, all the torment of hell has risen to the earth, the earth will now be the hell of suffering, the prince of darkness has taken over the government, he said, let's reign, it'll be hell on earth, people began to look for Christians to pursue, the Christians were frightened away, they fled so as not to die in this great persecution and genocide, the world and the government were against us, the era of the martyrs began, they will be human sacrifices for Jesus sake, they would offer their blood to eternal life, shedding their blood for Jesus sake, as Christ did on the cross of Calvary, that was the form of retribution they made for Jesus, many Christians were killed by persecution, when they were alive they could not stand, the Christians groaned in pain, they could not stand it any longer, and they cried a lot, the trumpet rang and the remnants disappeared, I saw in a vision the lights rising to the sky and disappearing, the world was filled with darkness when these lights disappeared, when these lights disappeared, the world grew darker, totally filled with darkness, I saw a black hole that opened on the floor, black shadows were coming out from inside, the sky turned red, nature was inverted, it felt like it was turning against us, a voice said, the heaven is disconnected from the earth, there is no connection with humans anymore, all were abandoned, the Holy Spirit was taken away, the bond with the earth was cut off, what made the heaven to be connected with the earth, was the church while still on earth, Jesus took his own, people sought out Christians who had disappeared and despaired of not finding them, these people were dull lamps that stayed on the ground, Jesus broke the bond with them, the connection was broken, the mediator Holy Spirit was taken away, grace has ended, there was no more covenant with the rebels, the bride has been taken away, the covenant of salvation is over, now the judgment of the lake of fire is approaching, Lucifer promised these two princes after the rebellion to sit on the left side and the other on the right side when he won the final war, this prince has the power to operate signs and wonders, he will not incarnate but will have a Satanist to perform all his evil work, in 1999, the angel of the Lord led me into a desert and showed me visions of the future, I saw an angel with a key in his hand and he opened a huge hole, a legion of demons was released, when a part of the earth opened, a smoke leaves from inside the ground and darkens the day covering the sun, the darkness of that black smoke well invaded the planet, the world was taken in darkness, it seemed that the earth became a hell, the darkness consisting of all forces of darkness invaded the earth, the angels that were imprisoned were free on earth to cause damage, the very king of hell Lucifer commanded the cavalry of hell and caused great torment in those who were condemned by the mark, may all who are hearing this testimony please stand firm more and more, I had the privilege to see the future of the earth, I did not want to be here to see this, today I live a life more dedicated than before, that everyone is in the peace of Jesus, Amen. I went to bed and an angel appeared to me. He pointed his finger in my direction at the height of my nose. He pulled my spirit through my nostrils. My spirit stayed with the angel, he went up with me to the clouds, the angel showed the planet to me, the earth was vibrating its rotation and spinning at high speed and accelerated greatly. The angel said, the vibrations and rotations of the earth are getting faster and faster. The days of the earth are being shortened the years will pass in a hurry, the angel showed me the days of tribulation, a man of great religious importance made a sacrifice for Satan to release the demons, Satan receives strength and opens the pit of hell, 
an army of demons invades the earth to execute judgment on sin, people became crazy, unbalanced, oppressed, and possessed by demons, they were tormented and incurable wounds grew all over, there were fearful deadly diseases that did not kill people, these people took on the form of zombies and suffered great mental control, they were slaves of the government, I looked at the river Euphrates, four angels were liberated and destroyed a great part of the world population with wars, diseases, and hunger, and along with these principalities, millions of soldiers from hell were released to destroy mankind, all the people and Jews that had no seal of God were decimated, the hordes of hell marched against the earth and caused destruction, men possessed by demons became killing machines, nuclear weapons were thrown into the earth and caused great destruction, Millions of people and the Hebrews were killed on this earth, those who had the mark on their foreheads persecuted the Christians, the wrath of God has fallen from heaven upon thieves, sorcerers, murderers, and prostitutes, the rulers with the Antichrist could not rule, all was in chaos and destruction.